How to sell an NFT on OpenSea. So let's jump in. Now, first thing I have done with my OpenSea account, obviously you need to have an NFT in there to be able to sell first of all. So what you'll find when you go to your account, you will need to put it in your collected. So if you don't have any items in OpenSea yet, perhaps you've got an NFT from somewhere else, go to your wallet and you will see your Ethereum address. You can also get your Ethereum address from your profile and you'll need to send your um, NFT item to that Ethereum address. That will then appear in your collection. So I've got this NFT here, it's called a Miranda's Voxbox ticket. And I click on this to take me to that specific item. So what we can see here, quick summary, there's 8.7 thousand of these in total. There's 109 people own one of these at the moment and I can either buy it or sell it. Now I've already got one and I want to sell it. So we go to the top right hand corner where we see the sell and we click on sell. Now, what price do we want to sell this for? Now we just saw that the price currently for sale is 1.1 Ethereum. So I'm gonna go for 1.1 Ethereum as well. Um, actually I might just slightly undercut the price. I don't want to reduce them, the price too much, but 1.09 Ethereum. Uh, it gives me the American dollar equivalent there. Now we need to set how long we want this item to list for. I'm actually gonna list mine for two weeks, which is not one of the default ranges. You've got a range of one day, three day, one week, six months, and so on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for one week first of all, that selects the dates, and then I'm gonna close, change the finish date, increase that by seven days, so I've now set that for a two week listing. So I now just click outside uh, that box, and that is done and it's now set for a 14 day duration. Um, that's pretty much it. There's gonna be a royalty fee to the creators of the NFT. There's gonna be a service fee to OpenSea. So I'm gonna click on complete listing. Now when we do that, we will see uh, our MetaMask wallet opens up and at the moment, again, we're seeing massive high gas fees, $257. And this is to initialize your wallet. To get set up for selling OpenSea for the first time, you must initialize the wallet, which requires a one-time gas fee. Now, I did see this just sub $200 uh, just a few minutes ago when I was looking and getting ready to record this video. So I'm gonna pause this now and hopefully get this back unto two, under, under $200. So I'm just gonna wait uh, this gas fee will refresh. Actually, 214, I'll go for that. Let's click confirm. So that's going to initialize my wallet. So now I will never have to pay that initialization again. That is a one-off gas fee to pay. So I've just paid $214 maximum. It may become slightly less than that, but let's just wait for that to actually initialize and then I'll restart the video. Okay, so now that's happened and we can approve this item for sale. And the gas fee is just $21 to actually approve the item for sale. Uh, $19, even better, I'll confirm that one. And uh, that will now go through the blockchain again, approve this item for sale. Okay, now we just need to confirm the listing by signing in our MetaMask. So we just click on sign. And there we go, success, your item is now listed for sale. And we can click on view item. And here is my listing at 1.09 Ethereum for the Miranda's Voxbox ticket. And it's as simple as that. Hopefully you found that video useful. Give me a thumbs up, pass any comments, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to know more about NFTs and cryptocurrency and general investing and making your money work for you. That's what my channel's all about. Thanks for watching, see you on the next video.